Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick review from uh, yeah with Primus. Uh, it's the last one in the series from our Upshot, and uh, well, cover is nice. Uh, let's dive in. So um, to beginning, well, we have this shot of this alien spaceship. We have these space aliens that is um, they find it's important that this world is be saved. And, uh, you know, this whole thing is about brothers and family. It's not really something new. Uh, the premise is, is very interesting, you know, with that, you know, this, Az it's not Aztec, but I believe Aztec culture, Mayan culture, uh, I guess. And, um, oops. So it seems that one of the brothers, Khan, killed the other one in the past. Uh, he raised these, these, these guys from the dead. He says, hey, bring me the body of of um, my brother and because he needs the blood uh, to uh, I don't know, give him more power but he also needs some kind of a blood sacrifice then these two tourists is going to be uh, sacrificed for well more power uh, I like this I like this particular part so um, yeah uh, and then uh, we go to you know in the last issue we see that this our trio is trying to you know help uh, you know find his brother but then it seems that I believe the, the his his cousin Javier has a brother, you know, more 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 people to coming to the party, and uh, he's in prison and he's controlling you know uh, drug trafficking and and other criminal stuff, and um, he says, uh, "I told you what would happen if you came back here, Javier. Wait a second, you're not still mad about our misunderstanding." Our misunderstanding. You murdered my wife and daughter. Uh, maximum security prison is the only thing that keeping us keeping me from killing you. He says, "Well, it was collateral damage, right?" And um, and he says, um, "Marcus overdid it on the C four and still feels horrible about it. Isn't that right, Marcus?" And he says, "Yeah, yeah, that's actually true. I'm I am night terrors." Um, so uh, so Javier says and. I hope you sleep the second you're not holding the gun. Uh, anyway, so um, so he says. Um, he says, um, "What do you want? Um, why are you here?" And uh, talks about the spear. And he says, "Well, if I told you, you will call me a liar." So he says, "A wizard gave it to me," and he calls him a liar. <sighs> Very predictable. Anyway, and uh, so um, he says. Fine. You know what? The kid's magic, he can show you. Now, I'm not sure why these guys are trying to imp uh, impress a, you know, a criminal that's behind bars, right? So he's doing some kind of a teleporting mojo, and this guy is not behind bars anymore. And But then, you know, the other cousin comes in, and he says, hey, drop your guns or I kill him. But then he says, hey, please do. I, I, I do not know him. So uh, no offense, uh, guy. And he says, none taken. You're busy. I get it. Yeah, he was in prison. Uh, so the whole gist is more like uh, that he's now out of prison. And um, so he says, who are you? Um, shouldn't you know since you kidnapped my sister and blackmailed me? Again, not me. Managing an organization this size from prison is not easy as you think. No one ever talks about the difficulty with narco staffing. Listen up, guys. Who's responsible for blackmailing and kidnapping the lady with the serrated sword sister? And so this guy says, I did. Okay, so, but why did you kidnap her in the first place? It's not really clear. It's basically, it's not, you know, explained at all, but, you know, plot, or plot device, I guess. So this guy's getting punched out. So, um, and he also is hitting on this girl. And, he's in the other, and so Javier said, well, it's our cousin. Um, and he says, hey, why is your baton glowing, patas? Um, and then uh, it seems that um, Tio Janab, who is the other brother, you know, his, his, his patient has been worn out. And he says, uh, um, basically, um, well, this guy says, let me guess, wizard gave you the spear? I'm no mere wizard Alejandro Pascal, or Pacal. Is it Pacal or Pascal? Anyway, as you waste our time. My brother is preparing to annihilate all those responsible for the death of our people and wipe this planet clean. Ricky, Javier, and Gina, now that you together, you must act with haste. Your powers will set soon. I've used what little of strength I have come to here, have to come here. We must, we must not waste it at all. Uh, so this guy says, "Hey, uh, give me the flamethrower," 
And then um, Tio says, hey, you're not coming with us. But then he just quickly changes his mind. This guy, uh, he says, I'm coming with you because, uh, you know, if the planet is doomed, um, I want to help save it. That's his version of, well, I, of course, he's good. You know, not coming because of the goodness of his heart. Meanwhile, in the spaceship in Spain, um, so Khan is preparing for, I don't know, world domination or something, but he has only a couple of these Hulkalian followers. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, are they just wrecking, you know, some cars? Is that how you take over and getting revenge? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, they are going to this apartment here. Uh, everybody's safe now and everybody's together, you know, the whole family and old cousins and, and brothers and sisters and all that stuff. And uh, so, um, so she says, no, well, I'm no way in hell I'm leaving you with my sister. Teresa, stay here and barricade the door. Only open it for me. So they are preparing for battle, right? And uh, I mean, the door looks good. I mean, it's a little bit stiff in some areas. It's... Um, but overall, the art is not really that bad. It has a nice aesthetic, but it's pretty motionless, uh, in my opinion. Um, and then, um, so, so the wizard here calls him, uh, says, Hey, um, why don't you uh, use your mojo to... Uh, oh, I'm, I'm a little bit too, too quick. Uh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, this is happening. So, they're having a battle. And... Um, well, people are helping each other and, uh, you know, fighting going, going on. And he says, Ricky, with the trepidation, enough with the trepidation. You are the most powerful uh, sorcerer in the universe. If you don't harness your power soon, we all perish. I just want my brother back, man. Then you can take all your stuff and give the power to somebody else. There's no giving back. This is your destiny. You descend from the first uh, mother herself. The apex of your strength is imminent. Yeah, you know, I like that that Ricky is saying, hey, uh, you know, just just I don't want your powers. Just want my family back. Uh, that's character. I, I like that. Um, and but then he also says, well, uh, that he is very important and he can look into his own future and then see what kind of man that he will become later. Right. And um, he says, um, I regret that, that this responsibility is thrust upon you with no training. But we must deal with the situation as it is now. Now, reanimate um, and tame Khan's soldier. Wait, you say I can control these? Well, swear word. Uh, okay, so he's trying that, but it doesn't really work. So he's doing a, I don't know, some chokehold. He says, what are you doing? Sleep a hole, just like CM Punk. I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep his ass. So this guy doesn't know what CM Punk is. CM Punk is a wrestler. That works for WWE, uh, so not really that important. But for those who not know, well, that is it. Um, so he's using his matching and say, go back to the earth that birthed you. And he says, where do you go? Well, he's going back to, well, in the beginning, right? Because when this guy's in this catacombs or chambers resurrecting these guys. Uh, anyway, um, so one by one, uh, all these... these um, Cousins and, and, and heroes are getting familiar with their uh, powers. So this guy can duplicate himself, right? So I'm not sure if those are illusions or what else. And um, and so it's also the, uh, the, the, the prison brother comes in. Um, so he says, okay, go. Now like we discuss. Um, so what are you up to? I did what I promised. Now take me to Khan. The rest of you, clean yourself up. We're going to church. Mm, big words. Uh, so, and then um, it seals that Gina is also having, reaching her full potential. She's changing into some kind of a human hybrid, a jaguar. So she has jaguar powers. Um, although um, they can only function uh, as a well machine, uh, uh, oil machine when they are together. But then there's a scream. So it seems that... Um, you know, her sister is getting, I don't know, kidnapped again. But then with, you know, um, the brother of, of Javier is, is, is doing that. So he's a trading trader rat bastard. Uh, so, but she doesn't listen. So she goes in and uh, she's, you know, defending herself from the gunfire. But she is hit. Uh, these guys doing a, a James Bond and flee with, you know, the family members. 
And then the other ones comes in and he says, um, Gina, you're hurt. I'm fine. They took Teresa. Go after them. Alejandro taking your sister was no coincidence. That evil shit must cut some sort of side deal with Khan. Are you okay to walk? Um, so, all right. Whatever happens down here, from now on, we, not, we, we need to stay together at all times. Wow, I'm impressed. You almost sound like a leader. Thanks. I, I said almost. Yeah, there's some humor here. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, this this scumbag is 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 um, trading this this um, sister or woman uh, to Khan right here. I don't know how he got there or how did he know where he is. I don't know. Anyway, so Khan is doing some um, scratching, scratching, and uh, you know the, the blood is flowing into the cup. Uh, he drinks it and he becomes super Khan. Uh, he's getting all buff inside. So this guy wants to drink it too. He said, hey, give me a sip. And he says, ah, no, no, no. You are unworthy, right? You're an embarrassment. Um, so so um, the other brother comes in um, and he says, uh, you are the one who embarrasses our line. Oh, Janab, I'm glad you're, you're, I'm glad you're here to watch me fulfill our purpose. Um, so he basically says, join me or die. Uh, but the other one brother still try to appease with him, right? Like that ever works. And of course, he's getting killed uh, here and getting stabbed through his stomach because of Super Khan just punched him in his gut, right? And it's just, you're just in time to watch everyone you love die. All right. And he says, show me what you got. So, okay. Um, and then um, it seems that the power is kicking in and everybody's seeing each other's past. He sees his future, what he's going to be, right? Um, and then he shoots Khan. He says, holy crap, great shot, kid. Now let's finish him off on it. So battling and he's doing that same ritual thing with, you know, but it doesn't work on Khan. Khan throws him away. Um, so Javier is duplicating himself and, 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 and Gina is here using... Her Jaguar powers, right? And he says, that takes care of Alejandro's men. But where's Alejandro? I smell his cheap cologne. He's close. So yeah, he's here. Um, so this guy says, hey, wake up, boss. We need to go. He's getting uh, stabbed. He's dead. But then, oh no, um, Alejandro is... Uh... Wait a minute. Do I set that? No, this is Alejandro. This is Javier. Yes. So Javier is uh, stopping her. And he says, let me deal with this. We need to kill him now. He won't stop until somebody slaughters him like he slaughtered others. He just exploit your mercy like he's done so many times before. Is he drinking blood? No shit. So he be becoming, yay, buff, buff prison guy. And, uh, but something went wrong, so he's getting all you know, distorted and, and warped. And, uh, and then he's just fleeing. And we don't see him again. And this is the last issue. All right. So that is unresolved. Uh, so Khan comes in. Um, Ricky is defending himself, stabs in, and he says, Ugh! And um, so he says, thanks for coming, fellas. Go back to where you came from and wait for my instructions. Uh, but then Khan is not truly dead. He grabs the mom of, of uh, the boy here, not sure why she's, does she standing next to him? I thought she was just, I don't know, 10 miles away in, uh, in between. But no, uh, he kills her and she says, no, mother, well, right? And then, um, I don't know, he drains the powers from him or something, it's really unclear, but he is defeated very quickly. Um, and then they say, I shouldn't be able to save her. Uh, so they have some crying here, and um, then the aliens come out of nowhere to clean up the mess. Chanab's mission was now ours to finish. The aliens took Khan as a prisoner, so he still isn't dead. And uh, so Janab here is also alive. <laughs> and uh, he says, gather the rest of the primers and finish our quest. The temple of the inscriptions will provide all the resources you need to rebuild the kingdom and repair. Turn this planet to its glory. And, well, that's it. So they're saying the farewell to the mother. And uh, so, yeah, family together. The world is saved. <laughs> so what do I think about it? 
Well, it it it's just fizzled out. It was the, the ending was really sloppy in my opinion, right? I I expect some real cool battles. Um, the pacing it was a little bit off. It just I don't know the the middle part to two and three drag was was fun. One two and three was fun, but then it just needed more time to to establish a good well written story. It's not bad. I like I said I like the premise, right? And the, these characters are pretty likable, but you know everything else is just. Uh, you know, going through the motions, right? So checking, boxing, like, oh, well, now we do this, and now we, it's going to happen that. It's just very, uh, what's the word, formulaic? I believe that's the word. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it fizzled a little bit out. Uh, I don't mind seeing Primus again in the future, right? So if they're doing a volume two, I would be interested. But this, it, it needs more than four stories to, to uh, four issues to flesh out you know it, it it didn't feel that they were in danger if you know what i mean it's just you know i do this then you do that i'm killing some random mom and and then oh no he's defeated somehow because ricky find his powers in the staff and he's now the best sorceress ever on this planet <laughs> now that doesn't fly with me uh guys let me know what you think about this leave a comment leave a like um yeah see you next time bye